Hi there, and welcome to your first numeracy challenge of the year. So all you need, hopefully you've got from your form tutor, a piece of paper, a single piece of paper. And if you do have scissors, that would be great. If you don't, don't worry. Okay, so with your piece of paper, you're going to fold it into four. Okay, so just fold it once, fold it a second time. So we've folded it into four. Okay, if you don't have any scissors, that's fine. You can just open it back out. And then we're going to have four questions in our numeracy challenge. You can do one in each section. However, if you do have scissors, you can fold it again. Okay, right, you're going to have to watch this bit carefully. So I'm going to open it back out. Okay. So there it is, open out. I'm going to fold it in half again. Okay, let me just show you. So it's this folded, this is the folded edge. This is the loose edge, okay? So on the folded edge, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut halfway. All right, so I'm just gonna make a cut halfway. And I'm gonna hold my paper out again. Okay, and I'm gonna make like a little, little duck thing there, right? Okay, and then I'm going to fold it up again. And now I've made the booklet. I'm going to show you that just quickly again. Okay, so you've got booklet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so if you've made a little booklet, what you can do is you can do question one here, question two here, question three here. And the last question on the back, and you can put your name on the front, okay? I'll show you again. So as that's opened down, so you basically, after you've folded it into eight equal parts, you put a cut in the middle, and then you need to push that cut forwards like that, and then fold it up to make your booklet. I hope that makes sense. Right, if not, don't worry. Just use your piece of paper. Four questions, four parts of your paper. Okay, let's get started. So let me just share my screen with you. Okay, so we have a 10 minute challenge. You know how to fold up your piece of paper. Hopefully you've done that now. If not, don't worry, just um, write on a piece of paper as normal, not a problem. So there's four questions coming up. Your form tutor will pause them. And, um, and then I'll go through the answers at the end. So here's question one. Question two. Question three. And question four. Okay, so your form tutor will pause each question for as long as you need. Do not worry if you don't get through all four questions. I've started off with some nice challenges. So just do your best. And I'll go through the answers in a moment. Okay, I'm going to go to the answer page now. So please pause it if you need more time. Firstly, question one. And I'm hoping some of you got the opportunity to see Emma Raducanu in the tennis and um, the US Open final in New York on Saturday night. Absolutely unbelievable match and fabulous to have a British player, an 18 year old British player who's only just finished her A-levels um, completing and winning the US Open. What an absolute inspiration for all of us. Anyway, so the answers, the first one is six because I've got three tennis balls of 18, therefore one is six. OK, now I know that this tennis ball here on the second row is six. I can subtract the six from 24 to give me 18. 18 divided by two gives me nine. So my tennis racket is nine. Now let's look at the next one. So for this next one here, where I've got my two tennis rackets and my yellow baseball cap, I'm going to look at this one here, the fourth one down, which equals 48 two tennis rackets and a hat, two tennis rackets and a hat and a tennis ball. 
two tennis rackets and a hat equals 48. So if I subtract this tennis ball, um, so I can take away the six, that gives me three lots of two tennis rackets and a cap of 42. Therefore, one lot is going to be 14. Great, let's keep going. So I can now combine yellow hat, two tennis rackets and a ball. That gives me 20, six plus 14 equals 20. And now I can substitute that in to this line, the third one down where I've got a cap, blue cap, and I'm adding a cap multiplied by a cap. This is third row down. The answer here is 20. So I've got to find a number multiplied by itself and then add the number again, gives me 20. Okay, I know my square numbers and I know that five squared is 25, so that's too big. Let's try four. Four squared gives us 16, plus another four gives us 20. So our blue baseball cap is four. Once I've got all that information, I can go into the last question. Remembering again, our order of operations, multiplication comes before addition. So I've got two tennis balls, which is 12. And then I'm adding the product of one blue cap multiplied by all of this. So if I look at what I've got in this bracket, my two tennis, two, two tennis balls are 12. And then I've got four lots of 14 plus four plus six, four lots of 24. And then I'm adding on 12 to give me 108. So as you can see, the question gets harder as we go on, but hopefully you've managed to have a go at some of those. Question two. Okay, so some substitution here. Um, so we're literally substituting the, um, num the letters for the numbers, and then we get an answer of D, B, E, B, and E, and there's an explanation down here at the bottom should you need it. Question three, we're looking at cracking the code. Now, what I find helpful with a question like this, I don't know if you can see my scribbles here. Um, there we go, it's a bit messy, sorry, I should have done it neater. Um, I just lined them all up. So I wrote the four digit um, words and I wrote the four digit numbers so that I could line them all up. And as soon as I lined them up, I could see that the L appeared in all four letters. So that means that it has to appear, a number has to appear in all three of the codes. And the only number that does that is two. So that helps me because it tells me that L is two. Once I know that L is two, I need a code where the third digit is L. In this case, the third, so the third digit is two. So in this case, six, three, two, one. OK, same again for the word atop. And the answer is three, six, five, four. And finally, working the other way, we've got the number code one, two, five, six. We've got the word plot. OK, moving on to that final question. We start with a square. We turn it into a rectangle and we do that by adding five centimetres to one side length and subtracting the um, three centimeters from the other side length. Now there's actually three different ways of doing this that I've put on here. Um, the way that I did it was I looked at the factors of 84 because I knew what I was trying to find was factors of 84 where the difference between the two numbers is the difference between adding five and subtracting three. So the difference between adding five and subtracting three is eight. So I want two factors of 84 that have a difference of eight. So I've listed them all out here and I can see that six and 14 have a difference of eight. Brilliant. So now I know that my perimeter is six plus 14 plus six 
plus 14. I'm so sorry, there's a typo there. Six plus 14 plus six plus 14, which gives you 40 centimeters. Okay, other ways you could have done it. You could just have a go with trial and improvement. Um, this is one way of doing it by starting with um, a side length of four, five, six, seven, and seeing what works. And then you'll see here that the solution is this one, a square length of nine, 14 is after you've added five, six is after you've subtracted three, and it gives you 84 as the area. Or, bit of a challenge, but some of you might consider this, looking at doing it algebra algebraically, and then having to expand double brackets. Obviously not all of you have done that as yet. And that gives you two solutions. X is either negative 11 centimeters or positive nine centimeters. It clearly cannot be the negative number. So the answer has to be nine, substitute nine into here. Nine plus four gives us 14, nine subtract. Nine plus five gives us 14, nine subtract three gives us six centimetres. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed your numeracy activity. Thank you very much.